So I use a system called the Second Brain 2.0 to learn better, work more efficiently and to grow personally. But what's different from the other Second Brains is that it's distributed and held together like glue using AI. The reason for that is that YouTube-based learning has a different database structure to voice notes or to say instant journal of thoughts. And you can use it too for studying, for research or work information. And you can reach for this information when you need it. So on this channel, I keep finding new ways to make interesting content for you. And for that specific context, I use two apps, Notion and Play, to help me make YouTube content. Now, while I love using Notion, its default quick capture feature isn't very good. And Notion's mobile app isn't very ideal. It takes a lot of steps to use. And sometimes using the Notion web clipper isn't the right solution because we may be using another app or a device that doesn't support it. And in my case, the app I use quite a lot for learning is YouTube. And even though I regularly use tools like Instant Notion and AudioPad, they don't specifically address this problem. So this quick capture requirement could originate from my iPhone, my iPad, my Mac and or my Apple TV. And in the future, it could possibly be from my Vision Pros. So Play is an easy to use capture tool for saving, for bookmarking and organizing videos to view later. And it has very few clicks across all of these devices. And that's become my daily driver for YouTube videos. So YouTube frequently serves me videos related to my viewing habits specifically around how to create better YouTube videos. And many of these are of interest to me. All I need to do is to share and add to play and adding it to a specific tag that I've created as a playlist. Now you may say there are after all playlists on YouTube, but let me tell you, this is much, much deeper. A playlist on YouTube is just a list without any further organization. Now, Play lets you group these by folders, add tags to it. And it gives you the ability to add a personal note, give it a rating and search based on any of these characteristics. To customize it further, you can choose a color for the tag and that helps you group them even further. And you can automate it by asking Play to choose the Play tag when it finds certain keywords. Brilliant, isn't it? A great feature in this is that it follows specific YouTube channels and lets you know when a new video has been uploaded. Unlike in YouTube's case, where it doesn't necessarily surface the videos for specific channels when you require it to. For instance, I've created various categories under the YouTube Academy folder, like strategy, film, story and script, editing, pre-production, workflow, and even podcasts. And whenever I find a useful video, I add it to play using the appropriate tag. Now you can watch videos of any of these tags on YouTube with a single click on any of your devices. But this is where the real fun begins. I use Notion on my desktop because it works best there. Now in my main Notion database area, I have a section that's named as YouTube Academy. In this section, I have a main database where I sort my videos by topic using tags. Let's take the example of title and thumbnails for YouTube. When I have some spare time, I copy the information from Play into Notion and mark it as done in the Play database so that I can keep a track of what I've completed. So I have a duplicate and should I have a problem with Notion, I can refer to Play and vice versa. I put in the channel info, the video title and the URL and it automatically fills in the thumbnail URL, for example, using a formula. So unfortunately, Play and Notion don't work together directly under the current circumstances. And I keep adding more videos to a big list in Play. And I manually update these into Notion for one reason. And that one reason is because I've not finished with this video. And the most valuable part of this exercise is just about to happen. So I use the link in Notion to get a transcript of this YouTube video from youtubetranscript.com. The whole transcript can be copied and pasted. I use Notion's AI to create a summary and a list of actions from the video. And when I can, I make it look nice, like in the case of this example. When I want to make a new YouTube thumbnail, I use Notion. I click on the Ask AI button located at the bottom right. Here I ask something like, how do I make interesting thumbnails for my YouTube video? 
and ask it to refer to the YouTube Academy Master Database. And this is the amazing part, right? It pulls up all the relevant information from this master database and it provides me a summary and specific references if needed. For a better learning experience with Notion, I recommend watching this Ask AI video next. And to improve your understanding of Notion formulae, the one that you've been asking for the most on my channel, I would request you to watch this video.